Verdi and I realize that our problems are just so small in this world, and we need to be grateful for where life has taken us. Now that we're in Jakarta, we want to see what it has to offer. Since Ferry has never traveled around Jakarta, even though he's from Java, and I've also never explored Jakarta, even though I've lived in Indonesia for four and a half years. So, let's see what Jakarta has to offer us. So, we are at Hollywood. What is it? Holly Wings. Holly Wings uh, backyard. And we can eat inside. Um, the regulation is 20 minutes. Yeah. So uh, they're having a meeting right now. So we just have to wait for the meeting to be over. But this might be the first time that we get to eat somewhere in Jakarta and not our apartment. So we are so excited. <laughs> Holly Wings backyard, and it was oh, and that's the Kali. Uh, the burger was so juicy. I would definitely recommend 10 out of 10 if you come to Jakarta. You must try this food. It was so good. We were able to have a quick uh, burger and a drink. So now let's continue on to see what Kamang has. Street is famous because they call this area is modern village and so many restaurants here if you love nightlife before the lockdown is the place to yeah go to nightclub or like you just can go to coffee shop to enjoy this place is hangout place if you come to Jakarta we just explore the Kemang area we just walk uh, we don't know where we want to go. No, this area is quite nice. It just reminds me of a Buddha, right? It just like similar, just look like a Buddha. Yeah, we try to maybe find a place to have a coffee or something like that. We just like try to explore. We just want to see what Jakarta offered to us. If you want, it's a game only. Something like this. Because right now it's not... Yeah, even you can dine in for 20 minutes, but not all the place offer you to uh, dine in. Some place that you still have to take away. This area is quite nice. Yeah, there's a lot more happening here than what we're looking for. Yeah, you still have, they still have telephones here, like, I don't know if still walk or not. They lock. They lock. Yeah, you can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> but in this area, there's so many restaurants, so many coffee shops, like supermarket clothing store it's a lot here I really want to find the ranch 99 because the ranch 99 has a lot of yeah organic food and spices that we can use for cooking even the pada is really cool here <laughs> it's the coolest pada place I've ever seen yeah. oh. also you can see there's a lot of red and white because of the independence day coming up yeah look the uh, the flag is the giant flag over there. Yeah, we just we just keep walking. Try to find place. So we found a Ranch 99. We're gonna check it out. I've never been to one in Jakarta, but I used to go in Surabaya, and they have yeah, like spices, a lot of international just foods that you can buy for groceries so we're gonna see what they have okay so we couldn't record inside but we want to show you like we got this 
and oatmeal and some spices and dirty got some meat coconut milk more oatmeal and some peanut butter which a lot of this is difficult to find at just like an Alpha Mart or an Indomart. All of this came to 245,000, which is around $16, which is crazy. It's so cheap here. So, if you're in a city, I know they have them in Surabaya and Jakarta. You should definitely go to Ranch 99 to get. If you're looking for healthy foods, uh, organic stuff. The fruit is kind of expensive. The fruit and the vegetables. It's still better to go to the local bazaars, the local markets, but if you're looking for oatmeal, peanut butter, coconut milk, almond milk, it's definitely better to come to a Ranch 99. So hopefully you can find one near you. So we're just walking now to try to find a coffee shop. So since we left our apartment, we got to have lunch. We got to go grocery shopping, but in both of those places, we weren't allowed to record. So yeah, we are trying to see if we can find somewhere to have coffee and maybe just enjoy a little bit before we head back. Yeah, as we walk around, we can still see like a lot of places are closed. Like as Ferdy said, like only takeout. But it's definitely a lot more in Kamong than where we are in South Jakarta. So it's a different experience for us to see some more traffic people and things like that but it's a really cool area it's already back there <laughs> yeah. but it feels nice to even though we're just walking around and going in and out buying groceries and stuff to just see more of Jakarta and see more of this what life is like right now so we just went and got some coffee and we could also not record there but yeah so our experience for our first time out in Jakarta we were able to sit for 20 minutes um, but we couldn't record inside anywhere and yeah we are appreciative even to sit inside for just 20 minutes just got to experience a little bit of Jakarta um, but we're gonna head home now we have our groceries <laughs> we have a uh, very odd like maybe in three four hours already yeah so I don't know that's so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that I think it's a bird but Anyways, uh, we are. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that. Um, we're excited that we were able to get out. If you guys have any recommendations, we have extended our stay in Jakarta for another month um, until we figure out the whole visa process and everything. So, if there's areas that we should visit, this is we're in Kamang today, so that's our first time here and we don't really have any plans where we yeah. think we should go next mm -hmm. so please let us know where we should go and just thank you for watching us all the way till the end and we can't wait to see more of jakarta